is absolutely astonishing. It is positively astonishing how they have wasted Finn Balor ever since he has come to the main roster from NXT. Like, he was on freaking cloud nine on NXT. And then when they drafted him over to Raw and they had him in the runnings for the Universal title and all of that stuff, and he had that feud with uh, Seth. And right up until he got hurt and winning the belt, like Finn Balor was like one of was like treated as a spectacle and as something special and just the biggest freaking deal in the world. Finn Balor, they treat Finn Balor like he's a freaking joke now. You know, I don't, I'm not, I don't even want to call him Finn Balor at this point. You know, I just, I want to call him by what I've been calling him, Devitt. I mean, they have been treating Prince Devitt like crap. Devitt was so awesome. When he was in New Japan Pro Wrestling, he kicked so much ass when he was in New Japan. When he was in the Bullet Club with Gallows and Anderson, it was just wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. Mostly because he was playing a heel. And, I mean, Devitt can play a great heel. He really can. He really, really can when given the chance. You know, now he just comes out as this smiling Irishman. Yeah, everything's great. I'm just going to smile about everything. Yeah, and then on rare occasion he will bust out the demon. Hell, he didn't. Even, he barely does that. I mean, the last time we saw the demon was a couple of months ago, and he busted out, that out on Baron Corbin and whooped his ass in about five seconds. I haven't seen him since, and I'm like, you know, logic dictates, Finn. If you've been getting your ass kicked this long, and you know, shit ain't working out for you, man, just break out the freaking demon, man. I mean, just. Get it. Just break it, bust it out, you know? Uh, I think I know why. After getting hurt, Finn must have sneezed in front of Vince. I guess so. I guess so. Because, gosh, you know, and I don't even want to go with the if you're injury prone thing in front of Vince. Because he's had guys that were injury prone that he's had in the main event forever. Gosh, John Cena was injury prone for a while there. Randy Orton's been hurt God knows how many times. Um, shit. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. I mean, gosh, Seth Rollins had a very severe knee injury, and he was right back in the main event when he got back. I mean, he's not... I mean, let's be honest. Even though he's, you know, the Intercontinental Champion, I mean, let's let's face it. Seth Rollins is pretty much running Raw at this point. Seth Rollins has the best match every night on Raw. He does. You know? I just, I'm like, you know, it's, and it's not just, it's not just Devitt. It's not just Devitt. It's Nakamura. It's Gallows and Anderson. It's so many of these guys that have come over from New Japan that, like, made their names in New Japan have just come over and been treated as a joke. Like, Nakamura should have beaten Styles at Mania. They should have had Nakamura go over Styles at Mania, in my honest and humble opinion, because ever since the heel turn, which I thought, Ooh, this will be where, you know, Nakamura actually, you know, becomes champion, all that. Nakamura hadn't done shit since the heel turn. He has not done shit. He has lost every opportunity at the big belt. He's held the United States title still, and he barely ever, like, barely ever let him defend that thing. So he's treated as a joke. Uh, Asuka is treated as a joke. You know, never should have broken her streak, or if they were, actually have it be memorable. But we all knew that was going to happen to Asuka. We all knew that was going to happen. As soon as that streak broke, she was going to just be an afterthought, you know? Gallows and Anderson are an afterthought at this point. And I, and this, see, this is one of those reasons, uh, Chicken, where you said the, the rumors of the Bullet Club coming to WWE. This is one of those reasons I don't want Bullet Club in the WWE. I don't want Cody... Rhodes back in WWE. I do not want the Bucks in WWE. And I for damn sure do not want this gem of a diamond that is Kenny Omega in WWE. I'm sorry. I don't want to see him there because they're going they're going to do what they always do. They are going to screw it up somehow. They're going to screw it up. I can't I don't trust them. Like it's a miracle. It is a miracle they have not screwed up AJ Styles yet. Like it's a miracle. But as I always say with WWE, oh, they haven't screwed up yet? Give them a minute. Give them a minute. They will figure out a way to screw something up. They will figure a way out. And I don't want to see them. I don't want to see them in WWE. 
I think they should stay in New Japan where they can just flourish. Like, And that's what they have. They have flourished in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Cody Rhodes has flourished uh, in, the, in the indie scene. He has flourished. You know? Absolutely flourished. He's the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Pretty much reviving that old belt. You know? I mean, he pretty much revived that thing. I mean, nothing against Aldis or anything like that, but... You know, putting a title as prestigious as the NWA World Heavyweight Championship on a guy like Cody Rhodes with a name like that, a prestigious name as Rhodes, his daddy, Dusty Rhodes, who won that very same title. You know, that same title that has been won by guys like Ric Flair and uh, Christian Cage and Sting and uh, even AJ Styles has held the NWA World Heavyweight title. You know, I know people don't like Jeff Jarrett, but I'm sorry, Jeff Jarrett is an icon in wrestling, and he does bring some prestige to the belt, you know, because to this day, people still talk about that, so there's obviously some prestige there. Rhinos held it, Ravens ha- held it, so I mean, very prestigious title, one of the oldest titles in uh, the United States as far as pro wrestling goes, as a world heavyweight title goes, older than the, and than the WWE Championship, definitely in my opinion, definitely more legendary than the WWE Championship. But, you know, he brings prestige to that title. You know, you've got Kenny Omega as the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion right now. A title he freaking deserved like a millennium ago, you know? You know, it feels like that anyway. You know, and the Young Bucks, you know, just making tag team wrestling wonderful. I know people are get, they're saying like, oh, we're sick of the Bucks. And I'm like... Please, the Bucks are half the reason that people are still talking about wrestling that's not anything to do with the WWE. They're still part of that reason, you know? And that's just one of various reasons why I don't want to see these four ever go to WWE. Just like I don't want to see uh, Phoenix from Lucha Underground. I don't want to see um, uh, Cage from Lucha Underground. I don't want to see uh, Pentagon Jr., ever go to WWE, they will stick them on 205 Live and they will be forgotten. They will be forgotten. A guy like Pentagon Jr., who is tearing it up on the indie scene, who is tearing it up in Lucha Underground, who is doing actually a great job in TNA of all places, you know, and still wrestling for Mexico. I mean, don't, I don't want to see him there. They'll ruin him. They will, they'll, they'll, one, they'll neuter him. And a guy like Pentagon does not need to be neutered. That's why a guy like Raven never flourished there because they neutered him. You know? (sighs) I don't know. Yeah. Just some of the wrestlers I never, ever want to see in WWE. Now let's go kill some Alliance. (laughs) 